What is Beat Bread and how has the platform supported your career financially? Yay, Beat Bread. Yeah, um, yeah so Beat Bread is, it's a really simple business model that was perfectly timed for me. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they advance you your projected streaming revenue mm -hmm. on your songs. Um, so I had hit a point with my debut album that came out last year, Technicolor, where there was just some little finishing things that I needed to do. And I was like, how do I freaking pay for this? Like, yeah. how do I do this? I was working like four different jobs, various restaurants, social media gigs, like all these different things. And I was like, I need like, you know, I don't even need that much. I just like, I can't, I can't get there and I need to do it now. Yeah. Um, and I, someone had mentioned Beat Bread to me in a session and I was like, this sounds fake and weird. <laughs> um, and I went and I looked at their site and I was like, this still sounds fake and weird. And then I left it alone and it, it kind of like the universe, like it came up in a conversation months later and I was like, I need to look, actually look at this. Yeah. Um, which another weird point of advice, I think as musicians, like there's so much changing rapidly and there's so many startups and so many companies yeah like really do your research because you mm. could be glossing over something that looks fake and weird and it's actually really helpful. <laughs> um, and so I've had to do, I've had to do that many times with, and, and take chances on new companies. Cause like I'm a new artist and mm. there's something in that that's really serendipitous and beautiful to coexist in this way. But basically Beat Bread, they, they have it. It's really simple. Like you put in your metrics and they look at your back catalog and you basically adjust the deal for what you want. But what's great about Beat Bread is you can buy yourself out of the deal at any time. And it's not really like where with a label, it's like you're mm -hmm. owing them God knows how much and mm -hmm. when will you ever see any other revenue. You can adjust it to, you still see flow through revenue um, on your streaming. Mm -hmm. And that's the other part, they're only collecting on your streaming. So it's not like I was getting taken from any other way. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's basically the summation of what Beat Bread does. And I did two rounds of funding with them uh, just to do finishing things at di different parts of my projects. Mm -hmm. And then I recently bought myself out um, mm -hmm. and it was really seamless and pretty easy. Like it just wasn't, it, it's just not complicated mm -hmm. for them. Their business model is really simple. Like, hey, you need the money. This is the money you were gonna make anyway. Yep. Here it is. And now we're gonna get out of your way. Yeah. Um, so I think if you're at a, par a point in your career where you're like, I know exactly what to do, mm -hmm. it would just be easier if I had like X amount of money, mm -hmm. maybe check it out. Um, they're really, they're really a great team. They also were helpful, like even maybe in ways they didn't need to be like extra, extra yeah. little things on the side. Like it's great to work with these small, smaller up and coming companies. Cause you still get that mm -hmm. kind of, um, like handheld mm -hmm. uh, support when you need it. Yeah, um, if you go back to 10 episodes from this, we did a special episode on Beat Bread. Oh, cool. Yeah, so um, you own your rights, and I believe you need roughly 10,000 streams a month to qualify for their algorithm. Um, but like you said, it's basically an advance on your streaming. So, um, and I only you know, share companies that I think are um, doing yeah. great things. So it's awesome to hear your experience. Yeah, I've had a gr I had a great experience with them, and I think it's like, it's, it's also nice, I think, the way that they structure the deals. I never felt like, how am I going to, like, recoup this money? Yeah. How am I going to pay this back? How am I going to this? Like, we all think that we want, like, well, I want a million-dollar deal. Well, of course right. you do. Like, more money is more money more mo is more money. But you have to pay that back. Yeah. So if you're not certain, it's like, that's not really helpful. Right. And I think that this is, like, a good stepping stone. And there's more and more companies that are, I think, giving artists – stepping stones rather mm -hmm. than kind of like throwing them in the deep end and being like well you figure it out like i just did um another deal with an up-and-coming company duetti cool where they basically you can you can sell parts of your back catalog but you can mm -hmm. do it song by song um and i think that's another thing that we'll see more and more from artists rather than like hey we're gonna take yeah. everything right. it's a little bit more tailored to what is working like for me it made sense to like yeah i can part with half of this one song and that will help my entire rest of my catalog um but it's nice it's not we're not getting i think we're moving out of the like blanket deals for yeah. everybody kind of vibe that the music industry had before which is amazing because it's not one size fits all and we see that 